Hey Clashers and welcome back to another video and it's Clan War League time because we want to jump into the 6th day of the Clan War League for us and we're facing off against bad boys. Yesterday and the last couple of days unfortunately we lost to two better teams but today we have the chance of revenge. Yesterday Clan of Shadow or like QSFN more like beat us unfortunately but today we want to try to get our next victory against the bad boys it is they so far the last couple of months always finished first in their group in champion one and so far it's looking pretty good for us so far it's looking really really good for us actually so let's jump into the first attack and I, today i'm super excited about this one because i think i have prepared a couple of really cool plans so let's see if those are going to work first base and let me explain what the plan looks like. First off, you, some of you might have already heard about this, but right now I'm really into Queen Charge Rocket Loons. And yes, this sounds maybe stupid, but I thought it would be pretty cool. So what I thought is, okay, this bottom side looks pretty good for lock launcher charges. Why exactly? You have easy wall breaks, you have really straight up pathing, you have really good coconut loon pathing, which is really important nowadays, because those, those queen charges look kind of obvious sometimes. And the next thing is we have a really big eagle compartment, which makes the king warden champion dive even stronger. The back end, which means only this top side then is left. And yes, I could do normal ladder, whatever, but to be honest, their defense is... I don't know, I feel like Rocket Loons are just better. And if you're now wondering what the heck is he talking about, well, let, let me explain a bit further. So first off, we're funneling both sides, double wall break to get the queen further into this compartment to charge in there. As I said, the pathing for the uh, Coconut Loons is perfect, and then the Lock Launcher is going to finish off this um, pathing just to make sure that this queen is actually getting into that Town Hawk. And now we have just the top side left, which is the eagle sign. This should be easy taken down with our king, with our warden, and with our royal champion. That's the plan, that's the army overall. And I have to say, uh, well, you will see in the next couple of days a Queen Shard Rocket uh, Loon Legend video, because that's actually the army which I'm using in Legends right now. And if you're wondering, it's a, how the hell can you attack ring bases with this? Let me explain in a couple of days. But first off, let's see if we can make this work on this base. Um, as I said, the cool thing about this is no one really is expecting it. And that's really, really cool overall. The only downside with this army, obviously, is you don't have... You don't have this... Uh, you don't have the sneaky goblins. That's a little bit annoying sometimes for funneling. But no problem. We hopefully um, got this... Uh, somehow in the back let's see so far the yeti mites are actually not taking down what i wanted to get because this uh, cannon is keep staying up the cannon was our main goal which is not really working that great but it should be okay as long as our queen is really charging into that scattered compartment which so far looks good right like so far looks really good we send in our test loons um looking strong so far and now the queen should hopefully get into the scatter and yes she is that's looking good indeed we have a couple of expos on us uh, so a lot of damage but still i think it should be doable for our queen and then because the top cannon stayed up we need to use a different lock launcher angle that the lock launcher is not going to interact with that cannon otherwise uh, we would have way less hit points on our lock launcher which is never a good thing so i chose a different angle than planned with the lock launcher but i still think it should be all right ice golem king everything in and now using the royal champion of actually getting rid of that cannon to make sure that the pathing is set the next reason why i use the royal champion more towards the bottom side is because well my king cannot reach that scatter shot so if everything goes well my royal champion is now going into the core of this base and should take down the scatter as well because this scatter right now is unreachable but so far this is looking awesome warden ability already got used so the push got even further and Royal Champion now is as I planned onto the core of this base. We have two rages left, but the cool thing about this one, we don't need any spells whatsoever for our Rocket Loons. Rocket Loons are already strong enough on their own, just sniping a couple of outside buildings. We have the Royal Champion using those this invisibility spell to make sure that Royal Champion is taking down the Expo, taking down the Singapore Tower, the Queen is taking down the Town Hall. And oh my goodness, this so far is looking strong. Next couple of rocket loons in, the multi fern tower is being annoying, but that's no problem whatsoever. We have still a couple of normal loons left, but that shouldn't be any problem. The multi fern tower is going down. And now the cool thing about this one is you can snipe outside air defenses so easily. And like when you have normally like dragon riders, uh, which are like really, really weak to air defenses, those rocket loons have no problem whatsoever. And this one is going to be a crazy, crazy overkill. 
As I said, never underestimate the Queen Charlotte Rocket Loons. Like, the power of them is incredible. And you would have never thought what you can actually do and accomplish with an army like this. The next cool thing is, no one is really using, or not too many people are using them right now. And that obviously makes it really unlikely that you're running into a bait. So, this entry worked perfectly. And I'm super excited that our first plan already worked. But now we want to keep going, keep moving on, and let's see if we can make even more entries, even more crazy plans, because, well, yes, it's like a really strong opponent, but at the end of the day, it's Clamor League, which means I don't want to run into baits. I don't want to run into baits. I want to do something fancy. I want to do something creative, and I want to make sure that baits are not happening. So, next base, this one, because we take a look first at the eagle compartment, if we can send the king and the warden inside. And so far, first look, it kind of looks like too small, not enough value to make actually sure that we're using the warden, the king, and even the royal champion. So we have to come up with something different. So what I thought, and you know, my, you know me, right? Like, when the eagle compartment is not looking that great for our uh, king warden dive, I'm trying to get sneaky goblins to the town hall. That's what I'm going to do on this one. Just charge the top left side, taking down the storage, and then sneaky goblins for the town hall. That's, that's the overall setup. And now let's try to find up a follow up. Like, because we don't want to just lose, use that normal Lalo again or like whatever. We want to do something fancy. The next thing is really important. We need to wall break really far on the 9 o'clock side. Otherwise, those healers might get into the uh, tunnel range, which would be a really bad thing. So. Yeah, the next thing is the jump into the core so the queen can reach everything. We have the king funneling on the left side. But still, what is about, like, what should we do with the back end? Should we do Lalo? Should we do Hog Riders? I don't know. And with this one, I had actually a pretty good idea. So, why don't we start with the first part of the base, the queen charge. The queen charge is taking down a lot of, lot of value. And then, the jump is opening even more. Like, as long as we can keep our queen alive, this base is dead. This base has no chance of surviving. So, what do we need to do? We just need to support our king push a little bit further, a little bit more. Which means we just need to try to keep war breaking the king, keep tanking for the king with maybe a golem or something, and then just yeti tanking on the outside. Yes, that sounds pretty strange, but hey, like just the golem with the royal champ, with the uh, with with the with the king, with the warden, and then yetis from the outside, like just with wizards, and then a couple of hogs. That might sound strange, but I think it's a really strategic um, approach on this specific base. So let's see. I think let's see if we can somehow make this work. I think the army is set. We have everything. Obviously, we need the power potion in just a second. Uh, we have 11 sneakies to get the town hall, which means the town hall is down. And we still have the siege machine left. We still have the siege machine left, which is going to be a yeti siege. And um, I don't know yet if I'm going to use the slammer, the blimp. I have the lock launcher as well. I have many options of what exactly I could use. But um, I guess I will just see during the attack what might be the best fit. But with this siege machine setup, like with this, um, with those options, I think we're looking pretty good. So let's get into it and let's see if we can make this attack work. First, power potion. I told you we need those max yetis. I have them only max so far on my main account. And then queen in. I need to be careful. This is a really perfect spot for a warden walk. So Tessa Fart might be the case. We need to be quick. Queen, healers, uh, Queen, Coconut, Loon, healers, right, everything behind. And be careful if there's a red bomb farm as well. So we delayed the healers just a couple of seconds to see if a red bomb is coming up. And we were actually all right. There is a Tesla farm. As I said, it's the perfect spot for a warden walk, I think. So uh, we were good on that one. We need to rage. We even we even triggered the tornado trap with those sneaky goblins. So now as long as this uh, right Tesla is not luring our queen into the wrong direction, we should be looking good. But exactly because of this Tesla form, which I kind of expected, um, I have two invisibility spells, which means one to redirect my queen if needed. And the second one is to, for the sneaky goblins, right? Like otherwise I could have not used that. Um, that invisibility spell for my queen. Now the wall break really far on the left side to make sure that if my queen is keep going on, keep keep moving on, um, that the important thing is that the healers are not in range of that town hall because I want to snipe the town hall really soon, obviously. Now one test sneaky goblin, and, and you can see it already. The healers are really far away from that um, from that town hall, which means they wouldn't be never ever in range. Now queen is keep moving on. We need to be careful freezing there. Um, and needing the rage as well, like a lot of uh, multitasking right now. The um, Yeti funnel at the bottom side, the wall break, trying to get the king and everything inside. There's now an ice golem clan coming out, which is actually perfect, I think, for us in this scenario. 
Invisibility spell for the Sneaky Goblins at the Town Hall. So the Town Hall is going down. This so far looks incredible for us. The push is going perfect. We can use the Warden Bleach now, covering everything. The Yetis on the outside and um, doing a great job of actually keeping everything inside. We can re like use the next Yeti as well. And this means at this point, there's only the 3 o'clock side left, as we kind of predicted. So we have a couple of Hogs, to be honest. We have whatever we need, pretty much. Um, and we still have our siege machine. We still have our siege machine. I don't know if he's even we need that. The plan is just so OP onto this base. So picks it perfect pretty much um, on how we how we approach, how we plan onto the base. Now I'm using just the lock launcher to clear out the compartment. We have the king there anyway, so I feel like the lock. Uh, the, sorry, the the slammer is nice to have. But it's not going to change too much. We have hawk riders left. We have the queen still left. We have her abilities still left. Um, this base got crushed, not even lows. And this is like the cool thing about those creative approaches because this is what Clash of Clans is for me. Like it is, you have an army which you try to actually customize for this specific base. And I think this exactly was the case with this army composition. And we're getting the three star at the end, 30 seconds left, but this one is crushed. So two out of two so far. Getting closer to the victory against big boys, but now we have one more attack left and let's see what we can do on this one and how we can approach exactly that base and see if we can go three out of three or if we're going to mess it up. So, so far it's looking good for us. We're looking really, really strong in the match itself, but obviously we want to go three out of three in this uh, overall uh, day, right? So let's take a look at the number nine. This base, uh, well, this base looks interesting and we have the eagle compartment again, not too big. We could play the king in there, but to be honest, it's not our first option. So let's take a look at the second approach, which I then normally have, which is the walk around the town hall with the sneaky goblins for the town hall as, as well. So let's see that queen walk over there. I think that's the best fit because we get rid of the storage. We can take care of this elixir collector with like one sneaky or something. And then things are looking good. Then we can just play the Sinky Goblins for the Town Hall. So this is already kind of set if we're going with this approach. Finding the top side, wall breaking into the single Firm Tower compartment. And then obviously we're getting back to the King and Warden. I'm sorry, I hope it's not getting boring, but I just love this approach. It's so much fun. It's so much more enjoyable than using like a normal Warden on air with Lalo or something. So... It's just more fun. It's just more fun. So we're sending in everything at the top side. They should break through towards the defending um, royal champion. Now we have to count the wall breakers because those are four wall breakers. And I want to have one more wall break, which is going to be tricky because this compartment needs to be empty. So we need to wait quite a long um, time to actually get that builder hut compartment out of the way. Otherwise, my fifth wall break is not going to work. The king and royal shaman and warden pushes should get the right side entirely. And then we have only this bottom side left with our Lalo. This time it's going to be a Lalo because I feel like the air defense is looking pretty good. We have one slammer left alive, which means like a dragon slammer is looking pretty good as well. So I think the plant looks overall really, really um, good for this specific base. And I think we can, we're ready, right? I think we're ready. And as long as we don't mess up the wall breaks, I think we're looking good. As long as there's no sneaky Tesla for messing up our pathing, I think we're looking good as well. And well, let's let's just hope that this Lalo, uh, like this part with our uh, troops is going to be enough. And obviously I hope that the Royal Champion, the defending Royal Champion needs to go down by our King, Royal Champion, dive, whatever. So that's really important as well. So let's get into it and let's get started. So. We are in and we are starting off with our queen obviously, double checking if we have everything set like the siege machines, the ground warden and not using an air warden with the ground push, that would be stupid. And now just pushing everything in. Like always we try to delay the healers, otherwise uh, those healers might be in range of the town hall later. So we try to get a better angle of where we drop those healers. Sneaky goblin funnel work at the bottom side, obviously like I don't think it could actually, did not, like I don't even see an option how it could not work. Queen should go to the top side, two dooms at the top side as well to actually make sure that we're getting the funnel right. And now just everything in. Headhunter for the defending king, which looks good. Rage there as well to make sure that my queen is staying alive. I think we're looking good. Yeah, the queen is surviving. Queen is surviving, no ability needed, which is great for us. Because actually, otherwise, that single firm tower might be a bit afraid. Uh, might be a bit uh, dangerous to approach. So... Already found at the top side, one wall break in for the um, top compartment, so the next wall break is going to be easier. Rage, freeze, everything is in. Next wall break done as well towards the, mo uh, towards the single furnace tower. And this so far is looking pretty damn awesome. Next wall break towards the town hall worked as well. We need to be careful with the town hall 
and with the um, with the Mortar Inferno Tower beams of that town hall. But at the same time, I used two invisibility spells just to make sure that if that's going to happen, we just have something to protect the healers. So it shouldn't be too bad. Yes, it's two small spells invested, but I don't think it's going to be any issue whatsoever. So that should be all right. So far, so good. Now, next coconut loon, rage for the queen as well. And now we can just test with the sneaky goblins. We need to be quick with that. But so far, I feel like we triggered a lot of those traps, which is awesome. King in already at the top side. This looks good as well. The Royal Chamber not deployed because there are too many things, actually. And I just straight up forgot it. So that's a bit upsetting. Invisibility spell. Invisibility spell for the healers. Uh, they have not a lot of hit points left, but should be okay. Royal Chamber now in because I noticed my mistake. But Town Hall is down, and that's the important thing. Now the Bidar compartment is down as well, so we can actually place the next wall break, and the wall break is working. That's looking good, really good, actually. The Warden ability, perfectly timed, I feel like, for this King. Taking down, like, one-shotting, actually, that Royal Champion. I feel like we're even... Like, take a look at what those heroes are getting. This Ground Warden um, King technique is just so broken. Like, take a look, they take down the entire right side. I was hoping for getting the Royal Champion instead of getting the multi Inferno Tower. I think I should get the Scatter as well, or at least like getting close to it, just in case I'm using the Slammer up there as well. And this looks smashed. The only thing which is uh, a problem is time. So sending all of those loons in. Maybe I should have saved a couple of loons. Who knows? But the queen is still firing away on those back end defenses. Haste into this um, last defense works as well. And now just clean up at this bottom side to make sure that we're getting that three star in. Queen ability is still can still use her as well. Everything is in at that back end. We have overall 13 seconds left. This is looking good. But actually. If you're wondering what exactly is happening, yep, that should be alright, but wait a second, there is a gold storage, I did, I did not attack with the spotter, so I was not really paying attention to this gold storage, I could have dropped one sneaky goblin, one stupid sneaky goblin, and this would have been a 3 out of 3 with really OP plants, I think, but this one gold storage is messing up everything. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's how life is, right? Like, this is if you're taking for a video and you don't have anyone on voice or, like, anyone spotting for you. It's happening, it's happening. That was unfortunate. Still, I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really happy with uh, how the first two attacks went. I feel like those were really, really cool. Uh, I hope you'll love to watch them. Uh, I think Queen Shot Rocket Loons are one of the, is one of the coolest strategies in the game. I will do an in-depth guide in the next couple of days on how I use it right now in Legends. I'm not too I'm not too crazy high, not too crazy low. I would I would consider like something like round about top ten in Germany, something like that. So decent. But um yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.